Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about the managing entity relationships in Power Bi Portal. Like here, you can see this on the screen. This I'm presenting one parent entity on the main page of this Power Bi Portal, and in the inside that portal, once I click on that, it navigate me to the new screen or the new form. It is opening the new form with the record that I just selected from the previous, and it is showing me the related records. This is very simple. Like I simply insert one uh, subgrid to the form, right? But the thing is, you have noticed these records. These are the these are the child records, and these are present in the subgrid of the form of the parent entity, right? So these records, these child records, are not pressable. Here you can see these are not clickable. S suppose if someone wants to check the and the record description or the record complete record of the any child record, at that time it would be a problem for that. So how I can do we can do this? For that you need to just go to the Power App Portal of this particular portal, right? So here is my Power App Portal. Here you can see you need to go to the entity forms and in the entity forms just open the form like when you just click this any record a form comes on the screen you need to know the name of this form right so in my case the name of the form is the parent detail edit mode form right so i simply click on that and inside that just go to the entity form metadata right just click on the entity form metadata and here you need to create one entity form metadata right just click on that once you open that just give it a type like uh, we are what we are trying to do it it is somewhere related to do the subgrid because we need subgrid to be editable or we need subgrid to be clickable okay so at the time we'll select as subgrid once we select as subgrid it asks the subgrid name so simply give subgrid one the subgrid in uh, which are in our form is the subgrid one and here you can see the grid configuration there is a item action property in the item action property these are the items that you did these are the properties you can add to the items of the subgrid that are present in the form right so what we need to do we need to just open the record of the whatever the record is coming in the subgrid right so we we'll simply click on the details because we need detail section we we'll simply click detail once we click on detail the detail section would be add up and here is the target type so in my case i'll use entity form you can use web page you can use url as well so in my case i'm going with the entity form in the entity form you need to select the which form you want to ins like which form you want to open once the user click on any record of the subgrid right so in my case it is word detail read only form mode because i want whenever the user click on the record of the subgrid a form will appear on the screen which is on the read only mode right so i make the form as read only mode as as you are watching this video it means you are familiar with how to insert form in the power app portal right so click on that and the button label like whenever you hover any uh, record this is something that it will come on the screen so i'll write view details and after that simply save and close right once it will be saved just go to your portal and refresh it right once you have refreshed just open any one and now you can see these records are added in clickable now now if someone wants to check or open any record a form will become on the screen with the descriptions like i haven't wrote any description for this because i've just added one name so it is coming like that okay so that's how we can make the subgrid record as clickable in power app portal okay so thank you for watching with this video guys and i have a couple of more videos that are in the series of this power up portal so thank you so much